The reason there's usually a raised stage is not just so performers can be seen. With the source of the sound raised, more sound waves can get more directly to each person in the audience, with fewer being absorbed by people and seats closer to the front. Sloping the floor also reduces absorption of sound waves as they travel through the auditorium. To control the reflection of sound, the ceiling can be sloped at different angles. Adding special surfaces will also affect the reverberation time of the room. Reverberation problems can be caused when the two side walls are parallel and made of materials that reflect sound easily. Then a rapid sequence of echoes can be produced as sounds reflect back and forth between them. To avoid this, the two sides of a hall are usually built so that they fan out. What happens to sounds inside a room or a hall isn't much different from what happens to a sound inside an instrument. Take a violin. The sound is produced by making the violin strings vibrate. But without the body of the violin, which forms a kind of hollow box, the sound is quite different. The body of a violin is like a small room where reflected sounds are controlled to give it its beautiful tone. 